KCC 2007 paper 1 question number 9 A cylindrical solid of radius 5 cm and length 12 cm floats lengthwise in water to a depth of 2.5 cm as shown in the figure below. So you can see the figure there. The question, calculate the area of the curved surface of the solid in contact with the water, correct to four significant figures. So the question is, uh, you're supposed to calculate the area of the curved surface, the curved surface. So you need to identify the curved surface and this one is a solid that is in contact with the water so you can see the depth you can see the depth of the water there um 2.5 so first of all which surface is in contact with the water not only the curved surface let us identify the whole surface the whole surface that is in contact with the water with the water is um actually this surface here there's these are part this one is uh, not a uh, have a circle this, this one is a segment is a segment of the circle the one that i'm shading in yellow so that part is in contact with the water and then there is another one on the other side the right hand side that we cannot see there is another one that is on actually the one that is on this side that we cannot see so those are the two segments of the circle but those ones are not needed because they are not forming part of the curved surface the curved surface is the one that is um, lying at the bottom of the water and then on the sides you can see so i'll try to illustrate this one using a different um, diagram here so we have a cylinder and then uh, what we're having it is uh, actually that is uh, it is like this cylinder that is cut like that eh? so when you look at this this is only that is a uh, vertical as compared to the one that you can see there so there is this uh, part that is here that i was talking about uh, this part the, the, this part we, we don't require this part this part is a segment this part is not part of the curved surface the one that i'm shading it is not part of the curved surface so what we need is actually this uh, surface here this is the curved surface that you can see here you can see the, the one that runs from this point eh? this th this surface that is here excluding this um, segment that is here and the other one that is on the other side so when you're calculating the curved surface of a cylinder because this one comes from the cylinder how do you get it you get the curved surface of a cylinder by using this formula by using the formula pi d pi d h pi d h this is how we get the curved the curved surface area of a cylinder but this one is not a whole cylinder so it's just a section of it so we need to identify when you open it up you will end up with a um, rectangle rectangle that looks like this eh? so you'll end up with a rectangle that looks like this this is the curved part when you open up this uh, part here you can see this um, part that is here this one eh? when you open it up you straighten it up it will form this rectangle that you can see here so this part that is here you see this part this is the one that gives a pi d that is the one that we get it by pi d why pi d because um it forms part of this uh, arc here forms part of this arc so you can see the length of this arc the length of this arc the length of that arc is the one that will be there but now this one we use pi d when um, it is the whole circle if it was the whole circle that you're opening we could have used pi d the circumference the whole length of the circle we could have used pi d but in this case it is different it is just um, a section so this one is uh, the length so how do we get the length of this of course uh, for the other length here this height here will be represented by so this is the one that is uh, 12 so 12 you can see 12 so 12 will be 12 will be there that will be 12 centimeters 12 centimeters will be there so we need to get this uh, length here once we get this length then to get the curved surface area we just get the area of this uh, rectangle here so how do we get this 
I have drawn this other circle here to help us um, understand how I'm going to get that. I remember the section that is covered by water is um, somewhere up to that point. That is the section covered by the water. I'll shade it like that. That is the section covered by the water. And then you're given the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle is, uh, yes, yeah, so that is the radius. That is the radius. And then um, the, this section, this section that is here, is the one that is covered by, is in contact with the water. This section that is here. So that section is the one that is 2.5, which is the same with this 2.5. So if this is 2.5 and the radius is um, the whole of this length from here, this is the radius, which is 5. And from this point, uh, this is a 2.5, this is 2.5. Then the remaining part here, will you're going to get it by the radius 5 subtract 2.5. So this one will be 2.5 since the radius is 2.5. Then from there, we are going to draw a uh, radius there. That is radius. This one is also radius. And um, this one is 5 and this one is 5. And then this uh, line is uh, straight down. This is a perpendicular line. It is going to meet this uh, line at 90 degrees. And then these uh, two sections here will be equal using the properties of chords here. And um, from there, I'd like you to look at whatever we were looking for is the length of this arc. We want to get the length of this arc in the diagram here. It is the length of this arc. This is the length. This is the length. So how do you get the length? So what you've done, I've tried to create the center there. I've created the center there. And then this is what I'm using actually. Just to explain. That is what I'm using. So how do we get this length? This will be the length of the arc. And to get the length of the arc, the same with this. You know the formula that we use to get the length of the arc? Theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. So that is how we get the length of the arc. So what we don't have is this angle. We need to get the whole of this angle. So we need to get the whole of this angle that is here. And uh, just uh, once you get one of these angles, you just need to multiply by two because they are equal. So to get uh, those angles, uh, this angle theta here, this angle that is here, we are going to use this right angle triangle and we use trig ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. I'll use, um, when I look at the angle, I have the adjacent, I have the hypotenuse. So the sine of that angle, so sine, of uh, that angle theta is going to be given by adjacent side which is uh is it sine actually not sine actually we're going to use cosine 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 is the one that is uh, going to give us that so cosine cosine of that angle because we have the adjacent side which is 2.5 divided by the hypotenuse which is 5. so to get that angle we get the cos inverse of both sides so the cos inverse of uh, 2.5 divided by 5. Just use the calculator to work out that. Just use the calculator to work out that. And uh, this one will give theta to be 60 degrees. So this angle here, this is 60. And then the other one is 60. So the whole of this angle will be 120. The whole of that angle will be 120. So once we get... Um, that angle it will be now possible to get the length of this arc because we just use the formula so the length of the arc would be given by theta the angle which is 120 degrees divided by uh, 360 multiplied by 2 times pi which is 3.142 times the radius which is 5. so again using a calculator for that and use a calculator 120 divided by 360 times 2 pi r this will give 10 point 10.47 that is correct for significant figures so this length here is 10.47 so that is what we've been looking at because we said when you open that um, curved part that is covered by the water remember we are excluding the segment that i shaded in yellow because that is not part of the curved surface 
part of the curved surface is uh, in form of a rectangle when you open it up. So the only challenge is uh, getting this length here. And getting that length, I've tried to use uh, this particular circle here to explain uh, this length. This is the length that you want to get. So this length here is the one that is here. That is the length. And uh, we've tried to use uh, trig ratios to get that. So that is the length here. So we have now uh, the rectangle. So this rectangle here represents the curved surface area. Now that you have the curved surface area uh, in the form of a rectangle that you can see there as you, after you open it up with the length as 12 centimeters and the width as 10.47. Now getting the area becomes very easy because you simply need to get the area of um, rectangle. So area is equals to length times width. So the length is uh, 12 centimeters and then the width is uh, 10.47 centimeters so this one when you multiply you get 125.7 centimeters squared that is correct to four significant figures